I mean, I don't know how they even got these insulators and the wiring up here. And this is a building from... <laughs> My hips are too wide. Um, this is a building from 1915. And I can't even get farther than this. We have some original 1915 wiring over here, which is knob and tube wiring, as you can see up here. And then we have some later wiring from the 1970s or so, which is actually double connector, con double conductor wire. Now, this double con conductor wire is actually not as stupidity proof, stupidity resistant as the original wire because the original wire, well, at least when it comes to cutting, the original wire only has one lead, one conductor per wire. So if you were to cut it like so, then you're not crossing over the power. You're only connecting your cutters to whatever this line is connected to. And this one happens to be off. But if I were to cut one of these dual connector wires or the newer ones that have ground in them, then you would, well, you would make a lot of sparks and you would probably eat up your, your cutting heads and whatnot. But as far as this test goes, if this was even running 480 volts, as long as your gloves are good enough to, to stop the power, then it's actually not that bad. So as far as the video is concerned, that's not all that interesting because there's not many sparks. So, let's fix that. Let's do an experiment and let's pretend you don't have any insulation and let's pretend that you also have a fully grounded body or something. You know, like what if you accidentally touched one of the other wires? Because with the 1915 wiring, with the knob and tube wiring, you have this wire going here and then say a foot further down you have the other wire and so they are actually quite far apart which actually is not that bad I, I like that quite a bit well i mean there's other issues with knob and tube wiring but for the most part the things that i see them used for i haven't seen that many problems with them and the splice is actually really good so like i think the main reason we got away from these is just because it's so time consuming to install them and it uses so much material and it's a little bit crazy to to like find where the wires go and whatnot because i will say the newer wire as long as you're not an idiot and cut through it it, it still works pretty well so it's good enough for me Got some more wires though. Actually, I'm not sure if that was live. That might be live. <laughs> Who knows? I'm not sure how they got all these things in here. Like this, this might have been done before the roof was put on because this roof is really, really short. Ugh. Can't even move in this direction, I have to lay down. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.